Flight Centre Search, Compare, Book. The experience of over 3,000 travel specialists comes directly to you. So your next holiday is just a few clicks away. Search thousands of destinations, flights, hotels and car hire. Compare and plan your perfect holiday easily and all online. Have questions? Give us a call 24-7. Flight Centre. Search, compare, book, visit or call. Check out flightcentre.com.au. Call Flight Centre, Lewis Welcome to this Football Brisbane feature game presentation. I'm Darren Lutton. It's round 18 in the Flight Centre Premier League and we're at AJ Kelly Park for the clash between Peninsula Power and Mitchelton. With Lions losing to Logan last night, this game takes on all the more importance. If Mitchelton are to have any hope of winning the league, they need to win today. The rains are about to kick in. Let's head straight to the action. Both teams going through their final preparations for today's game. For power, a win today can see them go from 8th as high as 4th, depending on other results. For Mitchelton, they're on 32 points, 2 ahead of Holland Park and 11 behind lines. If they have any chance of winning this league, a win today is vital. Now looking at the team sheets, of most note, Kate Aoyochi and Ben and Jai both starting on the bench. Jason Crow has the whistle for today's game. John Vasiliades and Max Crane are his assistants. It looks like the rain's going to hold off for now. The pitch is pretty soggy, but it's going to be a dry game. Good to see. Charles Mendy gets us underway. It's a crazy league at the moment. Results are having massive implications on the ladder. Eight teams still in the finals hunt. Peninsula Power being one of those teams. And Mitchelton, of course, well in the thick of it. This is Strickland. Finds Bernardo, but his touch is too heavy. And that'll be out for a goal kick. Bernardo. And he's brought down rugby league style. It's become the meat in the sandwich there, Griepsch doing everything to prevent him from getting through. Mendy. He's back outside. This is Strickland. He's got Furigal in the middle. Just over the top. Bonotto off the post. And Mitchelton come away. Jared Austin sees the ball over the line. Check again on the replay. Strickland, a decent cross. A little bit too high for Furigal. And Bernardo, only as far as the post. Well, Matty Sauer's got a bit of work to do to keep that ball in play, which he does. Oh, he's brought down. Joseph Klebo is involved in that challenge. Attention will be required. Yeah, it looks like Sauer has copped one in the nose. There we go. No malice intended. I think it'll be right to continue, though. He will have a headache tomorrow. Mitchell turn. This is Lloyd! Save from Burrows. It's over the line! It's been called back for a foul. Wonderful attempt from Jordan Lloyd. Yes, Mitchell, a little bit too strong with his arms, gives up the foul. This is Fairgreaves, the former North Pine player. Downs needed a double save. Both players have gone down, but Mendy's up first. Let's play on. He's got Griebs to beat. Sneaks it past. Strickland now. Strickland! Well, that was a bullet. We see this again on the replay. How flat is that shot? Kevin Downs needed very strong hands to keep that one out. This is Strickland again. Bernardo. And Mendy! Just wide. 
you get the feeling that if Mendy can get one goal, he'll get on a bit of a roll. It hasn't been a shining season for him as yet. Today he's been involved in the play and here he is again, Mendy! Kevin Downs. His foot kept that one out. Well, it's still nil-nil. The second half has been a little bit more attacking intent from both teams. This is Strickland. And he scored! Thomas Strickland opens the scoring. And it was from nothing, really. Gets the ball in open play. The defence holds off. Takes the opportunity. Puts in a shot. And I reckon Kevin Downs was unsighted. We see again on the replay. Downs doesn't see it till very late. Not until it's past him. The Peninsula have the lead. That's clearly a foul. Holding the offender, gets a yellow card. Griffith with the deft touch. Holden with the not so deft touch. And this is Ben and Jai, the second half substitute. Off the post perhaps, maybe Burroughs got there. And Swain can't keep possession. Mitchelton do have it back now though. This is McVeigh and Jai. Lawson, saved. Lawson will get another chance to reload. Austin sees the ball out. And plenty of powers there to keep power players to keep that ball out. This is Griepsch. Again, plenty of power players. And a, what a shot! Another bullet from McVeigh. And Burrows with a sensational save. Check again. McVeigh lines it up. Burrows. Just enough purchase on the ball to knock it onto the bar. And protect Peninsula Power's lead. But Mitchelton are coming. A long range shot, it's in! Chris Griebsch levels the contest. He was put, had it put on a platter for him by Tim Lawson. Sneaks the ball through traffic. Again, I think Barrows was unsighted. Check again on the replay. Yes, he didn't see it till late. And Mitchelton have a lifeline. It's 1 1. Now, Phillips taking immediate action. Taking off Austin and bringing on Kato Aochi. That's Fairgreave. Fairgreave again. And Aochi with his first touch scores! Can you believe it? He's on something of a drought, which is probably the reason why he came off the bench. And with his first touch, restores Peninsula's lead. Not the most elegant of headers, but boy, was it effective. As we see again in an acre of space, sneaks the ball past Downs, Power back in front. Strickland! Thomas Strickland is putting on an attacking masterclass today. Great technique with the volley. Decent save from Downs too. Well, for Peninsula now, it's all about playing keep ball.
Mitchelton looked to launch the ball forward. This is Sarasol. Oh, Aochi stolen the ball off him. Kato Aochi, can he ice the game? He can on the second attempt. My goodness, Nick Bernardi's going to get an assist. And Kato Aochi, the second half substitute, his goal drought is definitely broken. Well, look, it's just pressure there to win the ball back. Gets ahead of Willoughby. He's now one on one, and his first attempt at goal is terrible. But all Bernardi can do is give the ball straight back to him. The second attempt a heck of a lot easier. And Kato Aochi with a brace. Well, Trent McAvoy, Thomas Strickland and Kato Aochi will all be in the running for player of the match here. Now that was an agricultural tackle. Ben and Jai gets a well-deserved yellow card. And this feisty crowd is certainly giving it to him now. They had an old boys game today and a lot of them have hung around. Been very vocal. And there it is, it's full time. Peninsula Power keep their top four finals dream alive. It's Peninsula Power three, Mitchelton one. Tough call for player of the match tonight, but we've given it to Tom Strickland. Tom, that result keeps you guys in the finals hunt. Yeah, I know. I mean, it was tough. It was tough, definitely. But uh, we knew we had to win tonight, and uh, we did that. I mean, it wasn't the prettiest game. The weather weren't great, but we uh, got the result in the end. So that's what counts, yeah. Well done. You've won $100 thanks to Flight Centre and Football Brisbane. Cheers. Thanks, Flight Centre and Football Brisbane. Cheers. Well, Leo, 3 1 down tonight. What were your thoughts on the game? Uh, it, was, uh, it was a tough game. Um, we expected it. Uh, obviously, this week we've had a few boys with niggling injuries. Um, we set up a little bit defensive first half and tried to get something coming in the second half. And I thought we got ourselves well and truly back into the match uh, with the equaliser, and then we switched off. And uh, you know, discipline wins your games. Um, and I think, like I said, I've got no problems with the defeat tonight. The potential deserved it. Um, and why I say that is, because we, you know, we can't give away cheap goals, especially uh, after Chris scores. I think we conceded a minute after, you know, getting ourselves back into the match. Um, and if we're going to win anything this year, we can't let things like that happen. Was Ben and Joy one of those injured players? Yeah, Benny, Benny's still recovering from when he got a slight stra hammy strain against Capella, but um, so yeah, he's, you can see he's not the Benny that we had in probably the first 11 rounds of the season. Uh, Timmy's just come back from his second lot of suspension, so he'll start getting more minutes. And Josh McVeigh, that's his second game or second game back after his ruptured spleen. So uh, if I can get the boys, <coughs> those three up front, and we get a little bit of <coughs> harmony up there, then we can cause teams some uh, threats. But discipline and defensively, we've got to be much better. The loss today probably puts any faint hope that you had of the Premiership out. The top four, it's uh, it's been a crazy weekend of results. It, your loss today just compresses it even further, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, before the game, in, in a way, I said to Aaron, it, uh, it's probably a bonus game for us. If, if we lose, we still stay second. Uh, but we had an opportunity today to really cement that second spot. Um, you know, and then the way it is now, like, uh, we've, got th all, we've got four games left and they're all big games. Um, if we don't turn up, we could find ourselves in four weeks' time outside that four. Uh, so I know Aaron's happy because they're in that chasing pack and they need that win today. And... I think it congests everything a little bit more, um, and results had gone our way, you know. And obviously, with their, their three points today, it's gone their way as well. So, you know, this league this year, you've got to turn up. No games given to you. Um, you know, you go to the show last week against UQ. We got a 90th minute winner. Uh, every team's improved, and you just got to make sure that you want to be there on the day and do the little things, the one percenters, and a little bit of luck, and we'll see how we go. Well, Aaron, that was a really important win for you guys today. It was a really important win, yeah. It keeps us keeps us alive, keeps us up up in that top four. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of twists and turns. I think over the next four weeks for for every team in that top eight or nine. Um, but yeah, it was really important for us to to get some points today, three points. So, what'd you make of the game? Oh, I was tough. Uh, Mitchy, I knew it was Mitchy. It was going to be tough. I was there for half the season this year, so I know all the boys, and uh, I knew Leo'd have them set up, and 
I just knew it was going to be a tough game. Um, we just needed to apply ourselves a little bit better than what we have in the, uh, recent weeks, and I thought we probably did that. All right, just looking for over the next four weeks, how are you placed injury-wise, and uh, you know, how's the squad going into the finals? Uh, we're all healthy, I think. Josh Hearn comes back from suspension next week, so it'll be uh, tough to, to. It's a good. It's a good to have to have to pick fifteen or sixteen. It's uh, the squad's all healthy, and um, we got no excuses for the next four games. We've got a good team, um, and I, th I think they showed that they're, they're becoming a great team as as a, as a unit um, to stick it out there. And we all dug in when we had to, and um, especially when it went to one one and we scored a minute later. It takes a bit of character, and then they they put the game away. So. Really impressed with what, what we did second half. And I've got to ask you, Cato off the bench. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, we haven't scored in the last two weeks, so uh, all the strikers are on notice. I told them all, and um, he come on and did his job tonight. So it makes it tough to, to pick the team next week, which is what you want. <laughs>